This thing's really cool. What is today's question gonna be? Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about superpowers. Specifically, I want to talk about how to actually fly in a lucid dream, because this is something that a lot of people find difficult, um, and I think there's a, a common misconception with how this is done. So first, let me just change the angle of this. It's not quite right, is it? Right, so the first misconception about flying is that you need to like exert some sort of physical like strength with your muscles in terms of how you're gonna fly. Now, what like you know, we've heard of people like sort of flapping their their hands um, or their arms to try and fly higher. Now, while that can work, and I, I don't doubt that that works. Like if that works for you, that's I'm not I'm not debating that. What I would say is that it's not as effective, or at least I found it not as effective as actually using mental effort or expectation and belief. So what what that, what I mean by that is instead of flapping your arms to try and fly higher, right? Because you've got you've got to think like in a dream. You're, you're not governed by, I, I was watching The Matrix last night and that sort of uh, emphasised it further, you're not governed by actual forces as such, it's just your expectation and your understanding of the rules. You think gravity will work and you think that when you jump up, gravity will pull you down. But in a dream you don't need to believe that, that's not an empowering belief and in fact that will hold you back. So you don't, don't, don't enter this with the expectation that flying should be hard, it should be easy. Because you should know, if you're lucid, if you're actually aware of the fact you're dreaming, you should know that it's a dream, and therefore you should know that you're in, in control and you can decide like whether you fly or not, right? It's as simple as that. And while beginners can find it difficult, I understand that. If you switch from, and this is something that I teach in my in my lucid superpowers book in de in great detail, you know, there's a link in the description if you wanna if you wanna check that out and have more like superpowers and stuff like that. But if you focus on expecting to be able to fly then you're gonna have such an easier time than someone who's flapping their arms and like trying to jump up with their muscles because just like in the matrix you're not actually breathing air in a lucid dream you're not actually you don't actually have muscles and you don't have any sort of physical strength in a lucid dream all you have is your mental projection of what you expect to experience so that's really important, by the way. I'm gonna say that again, you don't have physical muscles in a lucid dream. You just have what your brain thinks you have. So if, your bra if you can get your brain, and this is the key behind like lucid control and actually manipulating the dream scene, if you can get your brain to, instead of believing that situation, in that case of affairs, if you can actually get your brain to believe something different and to believe that you're in complete control, you're a superhero and you can manipulate control interfere with and experience anything you want if you can get your brain to believe that you're going to have such an easier time than somebody who just has a low level lucid dream they're lucid but they're trying to use their physical effort in the dream this is exactly i don't know if i uh, i don't know if you've if you've seen the matrix you should have done because it's a classic film um especially for lucid dreamers but if you've seen a scene right where morpheus you know morpheus fights neo for the first time and you see Morpheus is moving very fast, he's, he knows all the moves, but he's not breathing. He's not out of breath in the same way that Neo is, because he understands that if you expect to be able to do it, you'll be able to do it. You don't need to be out of breath, because you're not using your physical strength, right? You're, it's a projection. The whole thing is a projection. And in the same way, in a lucid dream, you shouldn't be out of breath. It shouldn't be a challenge. If, you're, if, you've, set your mind, if you've set your mindset up in the right, I don't know why I touch my cheek then. <laughs> I normally touch my head when I do that. Um, if you set your mindset up in the right way, you'll find it so much easier. You really will find it so much easier. So that's it guys. If you wanna learn more about this stuff and if you wanna really master flying, then go and check out the Lucid Superpowers Guide. There'll be a link in the description. If not, I will see you tomorrow. Done. Thanks for watching guys, this video and this channel are supported by my Patreon followers who are updated in the description of every video at the time of uploading. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel or just click the links in the description you'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video please click the notification bell and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.